Welcome to another Mockit tutorial. In this video, we'll go over how to fix elements in a prototype. In Mockit, you can fix the top bar and bottom navigation area, as well as any element on the dedicated place as you want. Let's get started. I'm gonna create a top bar and a bottom navigation bar for this Twitter app. First in first, I'm dragging a rectangle here and set up the size. On the center of the bar, we need a Twitter icon. So I'm going to the built-in library to find this icon. Drag and drop it to the center. Then fill the left side with an avatar. And the right side with a feature stroke icon. OK the top bar is set up. Let's move to the bottom of the page. Here we're going to design a navigation bar. Same, I'm dragging a rectangle to the bottom. Set the width and height. Then go to my library to drag out all the icons that are needed. Okay since we have finished designing the top bar and bottom navigation bar. We'll make them always stay on the top and the bottom while the page scrolling. How to do that? Select the canvas, you can see there are two fixed sliders on the left side of the canvas, which can help you to fix the elements on the top and bottom. If you need to fix the top bar and bottom navigation, just drag the fixed slider to cover the top bar and bottom navigation area. Let's preview to see the results. No matter how the page scrolls, the top bar and bottom navigation is always fixed. If you check out the Twitter app, you may notice that on the right side, here is a fixed button for publishing posts. So we are dragging the button out from our library and place it on the right side of the page. How to keep this button fixed while scrolling the content? Well, selecting the button, on the right property panel, you can see there is an option for fixed position. Since the button is on the bottom right, we can choose the third one, relative to bottom. To preview, we can see the publishing button is always fixed on the dedicated position. Here you might doubt that in the Twitter app, when you swipe up, the top menu bar will be hidden, while it will show up again when you swipe down to the previous content. We can also create this effect for giving this prototype to a higher fidelity. Go back to the editing area. I'm duplicating another state. Head over to state 2, the top bar should be hidden. Then create the interactions between these two states. Choosing state 1, on the event section, we can set the event to swipe up, and link to state 2. Same, we can set swipe down event for state 2 and link to state 1. Ok let's see the final result. When I swipe up, the top menu bar will be hidden and when I swipe down, it'll stay again on the top. To review what we have learnt today, there are two ways to fix elements in Mockit. For the top bar and the bottom navigation, you can use the fixed sliders, drag them to cover the navigation area and make them stay. For dedicated components, you can choose fixed position on the properties panel, so that it can be fixed at a specific position during the page scrolling. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more design tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Mockit tutorial.